Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can create a responsive table in a WordPress website. This responsive table will work on desktop as well as mobile devices. Let me show you an example. This is a responsive table that I have created in a WordPress website. And if I go to desktop version, this is how it will look on the desktop. And if I go to mobile view, this is how it will look on the mobile device. So it is a completely responsive table that I have created. And to create a responsive table, I'm going to use a plugin, Table Bar. This is one of the best plugins to create tables in a WordPress website. I have already published multiple videos on how to create tables using the Table Bar plugin. This plugin has free as well as premium version. You can create tables using the free version also. However, the pro version has many features. If you want to watch these videos, I'll give you the links in the description box. You can watch these videos. The price of the premium version is only $49 per year for a single website. If you want to buy this plugin, I'll give you the link in the description box. So let's go to the dashboard and go to plugins. You can see that I have already installed the free version as well as the premium version of the plugin. If you want to install this plugin, you can simply go to add new plugin and here search for table Berg. And this is the plugin that I have installed. Now let's go to the page and we are going to create a table from the scratch. Here I'm on the demo page and I'm using the default Gutenberg on this website. Click on the plus sign and search for Tableberg. And you will see the option here, click on it. Now there are pre-designed tables which you can use to create a professional table. If you are using pro version, then you will get access to these pre-designed tables. So I'm going to use one of the pre-designed table here. So like this one. Here at the top, we have a row which is going to be a title for each column. You can see that we have employee ID in the first column and you will see a different employee IDs, then name, then images of different employees, department, position and email address. This is how it will look on the desktop. Now I want to make it mobile responsive. So in the right hand panel, you will see the settings of this table. If I scroll down, you will see the responsiveness settings. I'm going to select mobile and this is how it will look on the mobile. Now scroll down again and enable the responsive rule. And here you will see the mode is set to scroll. Let's change it to stack. All right. Now here you will see employee ID in the first column. Then we have second column third column, then fourth and fifth column. Now I want to transform all the rows into the columns. So I'm going to transform all the rows into the columns. And this is the first column. And I'm going to enable this option. Show first column in every stack row. Let's enable this one. Now you will see the first column in every stack row. So this is the employee ID, then name, image, department, position and email address. This is for the first employee. This is for the second employee and this looks better on the mobile device. After that, you can customize the style settings. Let's go to style settings. Let's go to inner border and let's add some inner border here. Now this one looks good. Let's add the border radius also. You can see that we have added the border for each inner row. And this is the border for the entire table. All right, so this is how it will look on the mobile device. Let's save it and let's view the page. So this is the desktop view. And if I make it smaller, this is how it will look on the mobile device. All right, now let's try another example here. Let's change it to desktop view. And let's go to add new widget and select table work again search for the table work select the table work and i'm going to use pre-built table again let's try another layout here let's try this one this is a comparison table in which we have three different columns and in each column we have information about these products so i'm going to select this one and this is how it will look on the desktop so let's go to the right hand panel and change the responsive settings to mobile. Now on the mobile device, we have two columns here. So I'm going to enable the responsive rule. 
and I'm going to disable this option. I do not want the first column in every stack row because each column in this table has the information about that particular product only. So we do not need to make the first column in every stack row. Like this one, in this table, we have the first column as the information about that employee. But in this case, we do not need to make the first column sticky. So this is the first column, this is the second, and this is the third one. You can play with the style settings for this table and you can change the color as well as you can add the border for each column. So let's go back to desktop view. And let's try one more table here. Go to table work, go to pre build table. And let's select one more table from here. Let's try this one. This is a comparison table for the products. And let's go to the responsive settings. Go to mobile. Scroll down. And enable the responsive rule. Let's make it stack. And in this one, we want the first column in every stack row and we do not need to transform the rows into column all right so this is how it will look on the mobile device and if i change it back to desktop this is how it will look on the desktop so if you are looking for a responsive table in a wordpress website then you can try creating a table using the table per plugin so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.